went back to, um, I guess, some of the revegetation work we've been doing along the creek, and we, we had an isolated population that was living uh, down on the Warragah Road area down there. And we, we saw it as an opportunity, part of the work we're doing is to try and encourage to get that skink to move through uh, some of the work we're doing. So, ironically, that's why we chose it. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what it is, I mean, there's a great diagram here. Um, it's a little, I don't know if anybody's Googled it, but it looks something like that. I mean, uh, yeah, that's, that's and, and, and as, as you can see, there's heaps of... Where they live, yeah. and where they live in the um, winter, because um, they, they have love in the and sometimes trees, and sometimes in your backyard. Hi, I'm wearing two hats. Um, metaphorically, I'm a local resident in Monash and also a um, teacher at Oakley Primary School and this is a wonderful opportunity to learn about our, our, our local environment and to uh, look for opportunities to involve the school, school children in learning about their local environment and I'm keen to have a, um, a working relationship with, uh, with Monash City Council so that we can uh, help the, help the, the project uh, by planting, collecting seeds and growing trees and uh, some indigenous plants and doing some planting in the area to help the, the skinks thrive. Reason number one and reason number two is because of my daughter. I thought it might be a good idea to get her hands on doing something for like her environment. I'm a resident of the area and I've um, raised my kids here and I have another young son and uh, we really enjoy the area and I'd like to see um, more people get involved in actually enjoying um, the space along the creek and um, as